Hello and welcome to the PC Machine Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a cool built-in feature to Windows 7. It's called Windows XP Mode. Now, you may have heard me talk about this before, but uh, this is for the actual tips and tricks section. So I'd like you to kind of bear with me, because there's a couple other things to Windows XP Mode that you should probably know. Now, the idea behind Windows XP Mode is to be able to run Windows XP software in Windows 7. And it actually makes it very easy to do it. <clears throat> Essentially, you can run Windows XP on top of Windows 7 and then install the programs that you want to use inside of Windows XP and then run them from your Windows 7 desktop. So let me go ahead and get started and show you how it works. First, let's open up the browser and let's go to my website. That's PCMTechHelp.com. Again, the old domain will still work. That's PCMichiana.com. And let's go to the free download section. <clears throat> Once this comes up, we're going to scroll down to the virtualization section and it's right here virtual machines and we're going to select Microsoft Virtual PC now Microsoft Virtual PC used to exist it's actually been since superseded by uh, Windows XP mode so that's kind of why I'm going through this I should probably update the name actually by the time you see it it might might be updated so <clears throat> this is the old version of virtual PC but what we're going to look for actually is Windows XP mode so let me go ahead and say download Oh, actually, it looks like it'll still let you download the old one. So if you're running an operating system before Windows XP, I mean Windows Vista, Virtual PC will still work. So actually make note of that. That software works on Windows XP, so you can run like Windows 98, uh, Windows 2000, uh, actually all the way back to DOS. Let's just go to Google and type in Windows XP mode. Okay, and then at the top it'll come up. I mean, that's probably the quickest way to do it anyway. And once it comes up, you can actually select your edition of Windows 7. In my case, I have Professional. Now, here's the bad news. If you're running Windows 7 Starter or Home Premium, you actually cannot use this software. It's actually for Professional and up. I'm going to select Professional 64-bit, and then I'm going to select English. And once you scroll down, you will have to download Windows XP mode, and then, like I had on there before, download Virtual PC, and then run the updater for Windows XP mode. And once you've downloaded and installed all three of those, you're going to go to your Start menu, and you're going to type in Windows Virtual PC. And you'll notice that this Virtual PC section comes up right here. Go ahead and select that. And now this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, on my other videos, I never really made note of this, uh, and this is an important thing. Before you boot up your XP mode, I want you to select it, and up here at the top, I want you to click Settings. This is actually where you can configure all the inner workings of this virtual machine so that you can uh, emulate your COM port, your serial port, or uh, emulate your network adapter, or increase the memory internally to the virtual machine. This is actually very important to be able to do because if for some reason you can't run a certain program you want to run, you might want to be able to tweak these settings so that you can run it properly. Now in my case, I set the memory to two gigs. You'll never need more than two gigs. You might not even ever need two gigs in Windows XP. Again, you don't want to use up all of your Windows 7 memory when you do this, so make sure to leave at least 2 gigs for Windows 7, so that way you can kind of balance the two. And then I also am sharing my DVD drive, and I'm also sharing my COM port. Now once I've actually done all three of those, then I can save it, and I can double-click on this to open up Windows XP mode. See, now what it'll do then is it's starting the virtual machine. Now it might boot it up from the last time I used it, which is pretty common, <clears throat> because... What it does is actually hibernates it, and it actually saves the state of the, of the virtual machine so that you can actually close it anytime you want. And then the next time you open it up, it'll start where it left off. So it's kind of a, you know how when you close your computer monitor, it goes into sleep mode? This is very similar. Uh, they call it hibernation mode. Uh, hopefully I won't have to skip over this video here because it's taking a while to start. Yeah, I'm probably going to skip, so get ready for a jump cut. Okay, once your Windows XP mode boots up, you'll see that you're greeted with the Windows XP desktop. And at this point, you can actually insert a CD and install a program like normal. Or, in a lot of cases, you can actually share USB devices right up here at the top. Uh, you can go to Tools, and you can change the settings. Now, there's only certain settings that you can't uh, change while it's live. You might have to shut it down first. Uh, for Action, you can actually send uh, full screen mode. Uh, you can go into Sleep or Restart mode. And you can also issue a Control-Alt-Delete into the inside operating system. Cancel that. And so that's all there is to it. That's how you run Windows XP mode inside of Windows 7. Now, there's a lot of complexities to this. If you run into any problems, make sure to swim by my forum and ask uh, questions. I'll be more than happy to help you with it. I've been actually working with virtualization software for quite some time. Uh, the nice thing about Windows XP mode is if you install a program here in the Windows XP mode, it'll actually show up in your Windows Start menu. So let me type in AutoCAD here. <clears throat> you'll see AutoCAD 2012 English Windows XP mode. 
Uh, let me do that again because that came up. See how it says Windows XP mode. So actually when you select the program, it'll automatically open it inside of Windows XP mode. So that's a cool feature of Windows XP mode. So again, that's all there is to it. Of course, like this video if you liked it. And you can always follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. And you can also follow the website at Twitter. That's at PCM Tech Help. And remember to swing by Facebook. We're on there as well. That's PCM Tech Help Show or PC Michiana Tech Help Show, however you want to look for it. And uh, be sure to swing by the forum if you have any questions. Sorry this video went a little long, but uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more to come.